back to sugar and spice with Lakshmi. So today's video is a super random vlog. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably would know that I had started my baking business in Bangalore a couple of months back. So I've been filming the entire process throughout so that I could bring out an informative video on how to start a small business from home as a home baker. So basically this video was shot a long, long time back. And since then COVID got really worse, the second wave hit us really bad and everything came to a standstill and then we moved here back to our hometown and now hopefully things are looking much better with everyone getting vaccinated and the uh, positivity rate going down and things are slowly opening up so i thought it's a perfect time to upload this video this video is basically a collection of those random moments on how i basically started the business my ideating process the promotions the branding that i did how i ordered a lot of things and all those small small things that we need to take care of when we start a small business so i really hope you guys would find this vlog useful and if you do, don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe to that channel. So without any delay, let's quickly go into the video. So the very first thing I did was to put all my ideas and dreams into a solid plan so that I can have a good way of moving forward. So I just went online and looked for a lot of resources and watched a lot of YouTube videos. And the first thing I did was to apply for FSSI registration. Now an FSSI registration is quite easy to obtain. You can just go on the FOSCO's website and apply it. It just costs you 100 rupees and it will be there within about uh, two weeks time. The next thing I did was to get my branding sorted. So I have been using Canva for quite some time now, especially for making my YouTube thumbnails and everything. So I just went on Canva, looked for some logo templates and some business card templates some thank you note templates and I just edited it on there and I just finished that up. And uh, working on Canva is pretty easy. Even a beginner can do it very easily. There are a lot of templates that are available and I gave it for printing at Printo. You can use any kind of uh, DTP or printing services that you have close by. I really like Printo because I have done a lot of printing from them before and they had quite a good idea of what they were doing. So I just gave an order for the minimum amount of stickers, business cards and some thank you notes. And they even had some good customized cupcake boxes and cake box options which I did not explore because I was still figuring out what kind of boxes and what size of boxes I wanted to do but they do have a good collection. I just went for shopping from local stores and along with this uh, branding I also figured out my Instagram layout and everything and then I moved on to some recipe testing. So I do bake on a regular basis you know that if you are uh, a regular on this channel but I just wanted to figure out the uh, costing and metrics of each recipe which I have not done before so I was just trying out a few cupcakes and cake recipes just trying to figure a lot of things so obviously the first thing I baked was some red velvet cupcakes and they came out really good and the best part about recipe testing and figuring out all of this was that we got to eat a lot of these lovely treats that were coming out and that was the best part at least according to my husband and uh, once that was done, couple of days later, I got a lot of things from local shops. Now again, as I said, since I was doing a lot of baking myself, I had a lot of these resources lying around like cake boxes, my cake tins, my oven, my piping tips. So I only shop for those things which I thought I really needed. Okay, so now that we have our tea, we have some unpacking to do. So... Hmm. So basically I've been just dumping all of the stuff here so let's go ahead and unpack all of these so as I said I shopped for a few samples in each kind of cake box in uh, different patterns so that I can figure out what I wanted and once I had a fair idea of what kind of cake boxes and cake boards and everything I was going to be using I went ahead and ordered them in bulk and uh, these days you have a lot of options on Instagram and even local stores giving you good quality uh, material so I just went ahead and bought it from a local store here in Bangalore and I get a lot of stuff from uh, my hometown too. And I'm just unpacking everything and then keeping everything in order so that they're easily accessible. And as I said, I had a lot of these uh, cake tins and uh, piping tips and everything. So I just bought only those things which I, I needed in multiple numbers or things which I did not have at all absolutely.
I also went ahead and got some exclusive stationery for this like some pens, some markers and I even got big boxes for my Maida and Sugar and as I said it's a business so I really wanted to separate it from whatever we were doing at home so I got separate things for all of this so that I can keep a track of my expenses and figure out what I was doing and uh, and I, I wanted to arrange everything really well so that there is no mix up and confusion. Also another thing I went ahead and got was this organizer box. Again I got this from a local store here, from a local supermarket here. You can get these from Amazon because I just wanted to sort my piping tips because it was a real pain in finding these piping tips from a big box which was completely mixed up. So I just uh, organized my all my piping tips so that I can have an access to them easily and I can see and figure out what I need each time I wanted to pipe something. Who doesn't like some uh, proper organizing? Hey guys, so we just got our business cards and some thank you cards printed. So let's quickly check out those. some stickers as well that will come in like two days and I got some ribbons also customized that will also come sometime next week so we'll catch you up then and then we moved on to more and more baking and experimental stuff so I really wanted to figure out my hamper situation as I said I was planning to do a lot of uh, you know promotional hampers and everything so I was putting together some cakes some cake sickles some cake pops so I really wanted to figure out the logistics of all that and this just meant more and more treats for us and uh, I just love trying out something new it really helps you to have a good idea before I went online and you know started opening up to people so I will have a fair idea when people request and I can also offer them some good ideas hey guys welcome back so um, I don't know when we are checking back I don't know probably like two three days later so uh, we have successfully launched our Instagram page and I have some promotion orders lined up for tomorrow. So I've already completed the baking. Yeah, so I baked a couple of chocolate cakes. I washed up my strawberries and cleaned them for some chocolate strawberries. And I have the um, cake sickle mix also ready. This one has vanilla and that one has the chocolate one. So yeah, so I have a vanilla cake that's baked and cooling down there and today is quite a busy day because i have my regular office work so i'm heading out for that right now and i'll catch you guys in the evening when i'm back and i'm gonna decorate all of this and tomorrow we are gonna dispatch all of this so really excited so see you guys then bye
finally I was done with all the baking and decorating and I was taking my very first order out. It was a dark chocolate truffle cake. It is one of uh, my favorite cakes personally and it is uh, one of my signature creations and it is so 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 good. I really love this cake a lot and it was time to package this and send it with a lot of love. Finally, to top it all off, I am just adding all of my branding. So these are the stickers that I've been talking to you about. I got these customized and I got them in a round a circle shape. That's why it took a little uh, extra time to get it printed and cut. And once that was done, it looked really good. It's exactly the way I had imagined it. And I'm just uh, sealing the package up with some tape. And these ribbons are not customized. I did not get my customized ribbon by then. And the actual uh, customized ribbons were from a store called Ribbonwala on Instagram. And I think in the later portions, I'm just showing you some clips of uh, the cake boxes. There you can see my ribbon. That was also such a beautiful touch to add to the packages. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that was my very first order that I was just packaging up. It was so exciting and so exhilarating. And I think that was one of my highlights for the year. And of course, I had to add a personalized handwritten note on my thank you note. And this is also something I really, really love doing because I put a lot of love and energy into the cakes that I bake. So, and I want it to be super special and customized. So I ensure that I handwrite my notes and add it to the box. So that's always something special. this was just another order this was a strawberries and cream fresh cream cake that i had and uh, it was also the same day dispatch so you can see that cake as well here And that's it guys and we were officially in business and here are a few uh, snapshots and stories of the orders that we did during a very brief period as I said we had to you know pull back because of covid and everything so uh, do check out the page guys I will uh, leave a link down below in the description and do follow us and as I said do uh, order from us if you are from Bangalore I'm also planning to do some orders in Kerala whenever I'm here so do follow us on Instagram so that you can stay updated on when we are uh, doing orders in Kerala and that's it I hope you guys enjoy this
that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed that vlog i know it was super random and this is super late uh, as i said i had started this quite some months back and i only got the time now to edit it and put it all together so if you like that video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow my business instagram page sugar and spice bakes and if you guys are from bangalore do not forget to order from me i do a lot of parties and cakes and promotional hampers and everything so do check my page out and follow and share with your friends and family and if you have any queries regarding starting your own business especially a home baking business don't forget to leave them down below in the comments and i will try to answer them uh, to the max so if you guys like this video don't forget to click on that like button subscribe to my channel uh, i will be doing more and more vlogs so do stay connected and i'll catch you guys next time with another video until then take care bye bye